dusty lens. All right, guys, what's up? It's Chris here. We are going on a ride today. I don't know why I'm so sound, sounding so excited. Okay, we're going for a ride today. We're up at Riding Mountain National Park. Um, they have a really good trail system. We're going to do the East Gate trail system. We'll park just outside it because I'm too cheap to pay for a pass. The road in here is actually a really fun drive. It'd be nice if the speed limit was a little faster and there was no people on the road. I suspect with the good weather it's going to be a, a really busy day actually. So these trails are actually pretty downhill for around here. We'll start with approximately a 12 kilometer climb right up there. Once we get to the top, we'll get to come all the way back down. It'll take us no time at all to come back down, but a lot of work to get up, which is kind of fun. As well, there's a lot of bear activity apparently lately, so we'll put in that on the bike just to make a little extra noise. Okay, and we are on the way, just entering the park. Like I say, it's gonna be a bit of a climb. I've already seen bear dropping, so hopefully we see a bear from a good distance, but we've got the bell. It's gonna be annoying in all the videos, but I guess it's safe. Safer anyway. Put her in the foam mode in the suspension for the climbs. And we'll go from there. Okay, so I ran into a guy and we are back on track. We did miss a ton. So we got to backtrack a little bit and then back to more climbing. Okay, so we're on track doing the single track climbs now. Like I say, about 12K of just climbing. So, there's power to it. Okay, that's our first section of down. Oh. Okay. Pretty wide, which is nice. Keep a lot of speed. Nice. Damn, one more. Bridges are there just to keep you over the low bit. We're in the swamp at the bottom, really. And we're gonna go back to climbing, so. Definitely missed my gloves. Here we go. Haven't seen any wildlife yet. A lot of people coming back down it's going to be a little bit slower you're not going to be able to be as open with these trail systems that are multi-use the fastest way up to walk is the fastest way down on a bike So I passed probably 10 people already. Parking lot was full. Okay. We are starting one of the bigger climbs now. It's gonna take us a while. As she is, GoPro probably makes it look way smaller than it is. But we will be using Eagle. 
views of what we're doing. So we're all here for. That's great. And we started, I think on the other side of that ridge, to be honest, you come along the back side of it and then climb. That's our destination. That hill across the way. We're heading right there. We got a long way to go. It's rideable going down here, but you gotta leave nature sometimes. It's not a trail. I feel like I've got a flat. Hope not. So that's the view. We're up at the top now, the marshland. Put it flat and then we'll be going down finally. Oh, there's one bear out here. Always makes you wonder how many you just pass by in the bush, whether or not you've just ridden right by one and never even seen it. We're on the connector trail now heading towards the bald hill, which is that big bald hill we saw, and then the downhill. Bald hill trail. Finally hitting the downhill, Breeze Ravine. Skipping bald, skipping bald hill for today. And judging how many people I've seen on the way up here, we'll have to be a little more on the brakes than usual.
trail was made a few years back by professionals from BC apparently in conjunction with Parks Canada and they did a really good job keeping it still narrow single track instead of a huge development oh. sorry no rest no rest thank you Walkers take the short way up, which is this trail, the fast way down. Hey! Oh, hello guys. No rush. You guys can go by, don't worry. Group. Thank you. Sneak by, no rush. That's suspected. It's 25 degrees. And it's middle of September, so days like this are limited. Everyone will be coming out. Oh. Ooh. Jeez. Hey. No, no, no worries, no worries. Good job. Ah, oh, no, I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> Sorry. No, no. Flat tires happen. Yeah. See you guys. Thank you very much. Hello again. No worries. Hey, it's me again. You good? You're pretty close, yeah. Always funny running into people like that. Well, oh. hey guys, thank you very much. I'm never sure how far it is. And it makes me wonder if they realize they still have to walk all the way back. Definitely no shabu king of mountains today. No rush, sorry. <laughs>
missing those gloves. When you're used to riding with them, it uh, throws off the feel of the brakes and the grips. So we have finished up that trail. That was a heck of a climb. Uh, we did about 30 kilometers, so it is about a 15k climb and roughly a 15k downhill. A little less because there is a bit of a flat section at the top, but it's still definitely worth the drive. Um, I know some people do shuttle all the way to the top, take two vehicles, and you can get a few more runs in each day. Um, others like the pain of climbing, so that's what I do and there is one more trail just behind that camper there called Finch Trail I didn't do that one today and I just didn't feel like biking you kind of come out below it and you have to bike up again and um, so I'll call myself lazy today only saw one bear which is pretty good um, yeah all right let's hit the road and get back at this